This is hello there. We're going to uh, show you a video now of how to sort out your box in case you've messed up Cody or the add ons are not working. We're very fortunate in that we can remotely update the box. So, first thing, there's three important steps open Cody, which I have there now, and the, we need to get to the off button here at the bottom left hand corner of the screen. We click that button, it will then break up exit is lit up and we press OK again and then we wait for the box to close down all it's all it, that it might be doing in the background on Cody and then it will exit. This may take a second or two uh, and I'll continue to talk while we wait for that to happen. What we're, what we're doing here, this is most important, is that we must exit Cody in the proper way because we can't update Cody while it's in fact still running and it can be running in the background quite simply because it hasn't exited. So we've now exited in the right way. So your next place to go to is Apps. When we click Apps we're looking for something very unique to this box and that is Media Manager. So we go and visit Media Manager now this will show two things. It shows the version of software that's in your box and the version of software that's remotely on the server. Now they may not match so what you can do is you can update it but the first most important thing to do when going to update it is the clear the data and cache. So the first thing we do is we click this button here and we'd wait for it to clear the local version. This may take 10-15 seconds possibly, but there it is. So now what's inside the box is there is no version of Kodi add-on. So we now go to Kodi add-on install and we click OK and you will notice that it now starts to download. And this will download the latest version of add-ons for the K5 box. This will on most depends how quick. It's fairly quick on this uh, because we're on fiber broadband. If you're not on fiber it's a little slower so you can expect this to take depending upon the speed of your broadband somewhere between 5 and 15 minutes. We've reached 100% download on it and it will run at 100% normally for about a minute, two minutes while it installs everything inside the box and eventually we'll come up with the OK word on there we'll be in a position to click OK when that happens it's now completed the word OK is visible on the centre of the screen so we will click the OK button what it shows is the server version and you can see the date there that was the 12th of August and also your local version now is also 12th of August we complete now and we can press the return key leave this area and go back to our main screen we can click across to Cody and click OK and this will start and it will say starting for the first time just give it a few moments and there we go we now have our latest version of Cody on here and all we wait for now is for normally give this about three or four minutes so that if any updates uh, any of the add-ons need updating the updates will appear in this top corner so if you give it about five minutes to allow these things to run through then everything will be fine. Ready to use after that. As you can see now the add-ons are starting to appear in the top corner and these will run through generally in an alphabetical order. And you've just got to let them all go through 
until it stops updating and then you're ready to use. Most important thing is that you don't try and open anything while the updates are occurring simply because if you open something that does require an update and the update tries to update it, it won't and then consequently you'll find that the next time you try to use that add-on it's broken. So a little bit of patience for let this happen is the best way.